What happens when you've harmed someone? Whether you're an individual or an institution, is there a way to repair that damage or should you be canceled, right? That's at the gist of our upcoming talk, cancel culture versus council culture, finding the road to redemption at San Diego Oasis, Tuesday, August 10th. Now look, we're gonna be in the room live in person with you if you want or stay home because we're gonna live stream it. And I say we because I'm bringing my good friend and former congressional candidate, Amar Kampanajar, in with me to unpack these rich questions. Join us on Tuesday, August 10th, either from home on a live stream or right there in the room like the old days, pre-COVID for cancel culture versus council culture, finding the road to redemption. See you Tuesday. Hi, Oasis lifelong learners. Rudy Shappy, local historian here. On Friday, August 13th at 11 a.m., I'm going to take you on a journey along the 19th century Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad, where a fellow named Fred Harvey developed America's first franchise by introducing good food served by respectable young women who were called Harvey Girls. The story of Mr. Harvey and his devotion to the quality food service in an otherwise untamed culinary venue is one of tenacity, foresight, and the development of quality service along one of America's Western rail lines, while at the same time helping to tame our American West. So mark your calendars and be sure to register for The Harvey House, America's first franchise at 11 a.m on Friday, August 13th. The Neolithic Revolution is the second transformation in the human career. Why is it important? It put humans on the rise of civilization to get us where we are today. Please join me, Henry George, on August 9th and 10th so that we can discover how this transformation occurred. Hello, this is Miriam Caden with the Armchair Traveler. Join us starting Wednesday, August the 11th at 4 p.m. as we island hop across Oceania from Fiji to New Zealand to Tonga and Samoa. In June of 1876, along a river valley in Montana, Lieutenant Colonel George Armstrong Custer and 261 of his men, the 7th Cavalry, were massacred by tribes of the Sioux, Lakota, Cheyenne, and Papa, the Northern Plains Indians. This would call Custer's last stand, but in a way it was start of the last stand of the Plains Indians. It is a terrible but fascinating moment in American history. It is a perfect example of the hubris of one man leading to disaster. The story of the Battle of the Little Bighorn is iconic and it has spawned movies and folklore, a lot of it created by Custer himself. The real story is just as fascinating as the legend, but it is also far darker. It is the beginning of the end of the freedom of the native people of this land. It is not a pretty story, but it is an important one. This is the story of the ghost on the Little Bighorn. This coming Monday, August 9th at 3 p.m., I'm teaching a class, brand new class, called Microsoft Word Tips and Tricks, number 449. It's perfect for people who have any experience using Word. I'm sure I'm gonna fill some holes in for you. So I hope to see you this Monday, August 9th at 3 p.m. Course number 449, generously sponsored by Cox Communications. Hi everyone, I'm Peter Boland inviting you to join me this coming Friday and every Friday for Friday Reflections here at San Diego Oasis through the magic of our Zoom machines. Let's scratch down below the surface of our ordinary lives for hidden treasure and let's root back into the world's wisdom traditions for tools that we can wield to build a path out of this craziness toward our best life. That's what we do every Friday at Friday Reflections. See you there.